Hi, so today I'll show an example of a, a spreadsheet a spreadsheet created with a, with the aid of a Visual Basic uh, for Applications, VBA. Um, so the spreadsheet I have here is uh, one that I use to calculate the SRD, uh, meaning soil resistance to driving. Is uh, This is used to assess uh, the, the expected uh, blow counts that uh, will be used for a pile driving operation, uh, either offshore or onshore. Um, actually, this spreadsheet was used to be to be used for offshore predictions, since the the methods you use here are very commonly used for offshore operations. So, the spreadsheet was used for uh, to be used with three methods. Uh, commonly, uh, the most known ones. Perhaps it's missing here the Stevens et al. method, but perhaps I'll include that later on. Uh, but for now, I have Almendamer method, NGI uh, method, and Tulan and Fox uh, method. Um, so for this spreadsheet, the, I created the, basically uh, some sort of steps to, to use. Uh, the first one we can always uh, clear the input and clear the results uh, and after that we have to generate the the soil and pile input files so so if I press uh, first of all if I press here the button it will clear all the the input and this one will clear all the results which is already done so for now if I click on this one it will actually ask me where is the software that I'll use to create the, the input files for this uh, spreadsheet. So for this one, I've created a, um, a script in uh, MATLAB. And the reason for that was because uh, I'm using a, I'm using a function to, to generate um, the soil properties from uh, uh, every with without whatever step I want, so it can be from uh, from every meter or from every half meter or from every one centimeter. So for here, I'll use steps of uh, zero point one meters. I think it gives us a very good accuracy. Uh, and uh, what I'm showing here is the the soil uh, per meters that uh, I'll use for this uh, example. So since I'll use only the almond number method, which uh, uh, to which I have to use a best estimate soil profile for the NGI method and Tulan and Fox, I would use a high estimate soil profile. So the best estimate is something uh, somewhere between the low estimate soil profile and the high estimate soil profile. When I talk about high estimate and low estimate is because Usually on uh, for offshore, uh, we have a cluster uh, with the, where the soil investigation was done, and usually it comprises of several CPTs. Uh, and for that, we have a range of uh, of cone resistance uh, pen to penetration values, and we have to establish a low estimate. Uh, set of values and the high estimate set of values and from there we can uh, and with the soil uh, laboratory data as well we can uh, build uh, some nice profiles that can be used for this uh, exercise for so um, this example actually despite not uh, the the almond armor method uh, for clay uh, it only used the shaft friction for sand, would use the um, the friction angle as well. But for clay, we don't use the end range shear strength. For the Tulan and Fox, for example, we use the end range shear, shear strength. But for this one, we just use the um, the shaft friction as uh, is included here. The index of plasticity and the relative density is not used as well. So we need also the um, the effective uh, weight of the the soil which we have here. And from here, now I'll uh, use the, um, the script and I'll uh, select the, op the option one. I'll, uh, I'll have to select which file, so cell properties. And from there, 0 0.1, that's the step. 
and okay so now let's look at the what was uh, created so i have this uh, this file with results and then i have here this is the identification of soil layer and this is the the depth so it goes every 0 0.1 meters so this is very useful because I have a couple of functions that if I have the, the SU increasing with the depth, it it will calculate uh, for each step what would be the undrained shear strength on that specific depth. Uh, what I found since this uh, has a couple of uh, loops, uh, I found that uh, with VPA this was uh, super slow. So MATLAB for me is working fine. Uh, perhaps in the future I would uh, program this uh, spreadsheet in Python since it's uh, open source and then I, I don't need the, the MATLAB's license. Uh, well, in this case I don't need the MATLAB license uh, unless you want to alter the, the script. But if you are just using this as a X file, then uh, this is, you don't need a, a license. So now what would be the next step? The next step is also to check the, the pile uh, data. So for this case, we have a very straightforward pile. So we have a 1.829 uh, uh, meters pile or diameter pile. Uh, so this is a 72 inch, 84 inch, which is very commonly used as well. It would be 2.134 meters. So this pile has a 21 meters long, uh, wall thickness of uh, 50 millimeters, and then we don't have any um, uh, we don't have any pad eye, so that's the reason why this is with zero. So if there was change in the interior wall thickness, we would have to account this here. The the Excel spreadsheet actually is capable of uh, taking into account uh two changes on the wall thickness and this is very important because it changes the soil resistance to driving so when the wall thickness uh, changes in the interior it will affect your results so this is very important to incorporate so without further ado let's go so i'll use yes i want to continue with the calculation now i'll use the option two and then pile properties and now the step number will be 0 0.1 as well because that's the same as the soil. Uh, no, I don't want. So now I'll go for the spreadsheet. I'll load the soil, the best estimate. Results. So as you can see, now I have the cone resistance, the tip cone resistance, the shaft resistance, uh, the soil units, and the unit weight. So this is just the, the different layers. So we have for this example, we have 10 layers of clay. So now the next step is the four, load pile uh, text file. And then now uh, this is correct. So we'll end the calculation at 21 meters. This is automatic and max maximum um, a function so it will uh, from the file will check that the depth is at 21 meters this is automatic this is a if we had a wall thickness we would just uh, change we would just insert here the the depth when that occurs and it would search for the the specific section in millimeters and the area um, so for here this is the almond amra input um, input uh, values uh, so we know from the the paper that was published that for sand uh, we just account with the uh, half of the shaft friction and for clay is the entire the entire shaft friction from with that let's calculate the almond number soil resistance to dragging so this is a little bit slow with the faster cpus this is somewhat faster but still since this uh, has a couple of uh, functions, it's uh, kind of so. So I, am, I would imagine with the MATLAB or Python, this would be way faster.
so you, we can see the um, where is the um, the pile tip uh, and here we can see the the contribution for the soil resistance to driving from the pile tip and from the shaft friction so at this point we can see that the there is a friction fatigue occurring which is uh, accounted in the Almen number method and this is something that you observe when installing piles so despite the the shaft friction being uh, a constant uh, we have a uh, we have here a friction fatigue phenomena occurring so actually at some point of the the pile driving is expected that the SRD will actually uh, be less meaning that uh, you'll need less uh, energy from the hammer to install the pile or with uh, for the same energy you'll need uh, less uh, blow counts to to continue driving so now I'll just to show how it looks like the alma alma and met alma and amra method from here so this is all the calculations being done for every step so every time the the script written in vba is changing this cell from 0 0.1 as you can see from uh, 0 0.1 and then is coping to this side the the results for every step so just to look here at the macro we i have a couple of them so i have the macro to clear the results to clear the input that is associated to the button so i'll just check the here the almenamr method so as we can see here we have a couple of um, this is just to, to activate the chart so to change the chart property so uh, basically they will show the proper values for the almond amra method so when i press the button basically the chart is updated with a new cell range and then apart from that is basically uh, clear content uh, functions um, then uh, some uh, cells uh, cleaning the cells and then uh, coping cells or filling the cells with the uh, with the formulas until uh, till 8000 so that's the max range or i can have an input file with 8000 entries above that it won't work or i have to change the the code here and then basically i have a loop here that until it reaches the 21 meters it will continue doing this and then i have to i have to incorporate some um, some loops here to 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 have the wall thickness changes because at some point when the wall thickness uh, change appears you'll start having um, basically the tip from uh, or for, even for for the pad you'll have starting the suddenly the the pile tip is at uh, let's say 16 meters and the pile tip is at the zero meter so it's starting to go through the the soil and that creates an additional uh, soil resistance to driving so this is uh, so with the values that are gathered here in uh, the output then i would have to load up the um, garl whip the the most common software to to use for uh, blow counts uh, prediction and then i will use the the values from the srd and for the shaft resistance as uh, given given by the by the spreadsheet and gather here so i hope you have enjoyed this uh, small video take care